There I am. Hey everybody, this is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. It's Sunday. It's time to party with Wayne and Garth. It's um and I, it's five o'clock. It's my favorite time of the week because I've been drinking like for the last two hours. It's just Coors Light, though, so it's not a big, huge deal. But um, but, but you don't usually drink for two hours. No, I usually don't drink for two hours. I I usually kind of but but. This is a special weekend because I've been cleaning all weekend. And Do you know why I've been cleaning all weekend, Chris? Yes. What? Okay, no, 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 but for the camera. Do you know why I've been cleaning no, all weekend? No, Matt, why have, you not, why have you been cleaning all weekend? Because tomorrow is one of my favorite things that happens every month, and it is our Build Your Own Guitar class. And so I have, you guys can't see him, but Miguel and, and Dave and Joe and Mrs. Toast, you can't see everybody here. But tomorrow we start a build your own or build a classic telly class. And it it's a five day class. It's so much fun. I have so much fun because like all I do for eight hours a day for 40 hours a week is make sure people don't cut their fingers off. It's my, no, I don't do that. I, I do that, but um, it's it's so cool to, hang out with people and build a guitar from chunks of wood and, and we make all kinds of cool stuff. Yep. I'm, it's, the classes are one of my favorite things and if you guys are interested in a class, you should come out too. So the, this Friday, there's gonna be a reveal. Reveal, reveal, reveal. There's gonna be a reveal for uh, everyone's guitar that they made in class and I'm gonna make one too because that's kind of the thing that I do. Cause I don't, I hate to like, all right, here's how you do it on somebody's on somebody's project, and then they don't get to do it. I want to be, you know, I want them to do everything, and they get to use the pin. Tomorrow we're gonna to use the pin router, my beloved pin router, and among other things. And it's the what do you think is tomorrow the most fun day, or is Friday the most fun day? Uh, I think tomorrow is the most fun day from a tool standpoint, and then Friday is the most fun day because it's finally all over. Yeah, and, and the guitar goes, you, you put strings on the guitar and it, it stops being a chunk of wood and yeah, becomes a, yeah. a guitar. So tomorrow's a big day Yeah, and Wednesday's a big day as far as the amount of stuff that we get done. That's right. Tomorrow we're doing bodies. And the reason we have to do bodies first is because they have to get into paint immediately because, you know, paint has to dry. Yes. Um, and then and then Wednesday's a big day because that's neck shaping day. Mm -hmm. And that's a full day of lots of fun with hand tools. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, um, build a classic. T now we had we had one cancellation, and I'm sorry that that had to happen because the guy's wife had to have her appendix out. So he's going to reschedule. We're going to think like November. He's going to come back for the November cool. one. Um, but it's it's going to be great. I love to have classes, and I love to have people come to the shop. It's one of my favorite. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. So. What, you know, another one of my favorite things in the whole world is, Chris? Halloween candy. Hall I was going to say, getting to hang out with you and everybody <laughs> on Sunday at 5. So, yeah. Um, so, Mrs. Toast is here. She's working the boards. How are you today, Mrs. Toast? Well, I'm just a little concerned that I'm not in the top two of the most important things. But <laughs> other than that, pretty These good. are shop things. These are shop things. Um, I'm a shop things. thing. I love you more and more every day. You oh, know I know exactly what that means. <laughs> no, you don't know Bless anything. your heart. You don't know. That doesn't mean that. Okay. So, anyway. So, we've got so much good stuff to talk about. I have my computer as I can actually see it today. Um, I see we got Driddle. On on Pixi member is here. Um, yeah, uh, Ian Bonehead Guitars, Mark JC. Everybody's here. We're gonna get to. We're gonna. We got all sorts of cool stuff. What do you want to talk about first? Chris? Uh, doesn't matter to me. Let's talk about uh, the thing under the computer. Okay, this is some great guitar build off. Um, what do they call it when follow you, up? A little follow up, but that's the word I'm looking for is when you have some administrative stuff to do. Does that oh, make sense? Sure. In this context? All right, I have in my hand here, uh, I, hold on, I wanna cover up the thing, but I want everybody to, because I, I, I don't, is it okay to show that number? The customer copy yeah, number? Yeah, I think so, that's not your account number. Is it? A, that's not the check it... number, is it? Well, I'm just gonna put my finger over this, but anyway, I want everyone to see, hold on, let me move my beer. Move this finger. Which finger? Now you're kind of flipping them off. Well, what 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 can I what can I show? Can I show the whole thing? Yeah, you can show. All right, it. so uh, Mrs. Toast says, 
So this is a letter from Chase. This is the um, my copy of the check that we sent to Brian Nutter. And I don't know if, can you guys see that? Yes, everyone can see it. So that's $6,500 that we sent to Brian Nutter from um, from Texas Toast Guitars. That That is what... So the guitar sold for seven thousand sixty nine dollars. Sixty nine. Sixty nine, dude. How? Why did we only send Brian sixty five hundred? Uh, because eBay took a little bit of a chunk. Yeah. Because it wasn't an official charity. Mm -hmm. uh, and then PayPal took a little bit of a chunk. Each of them took about three and a half percent. Everybody has to get their, 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 their Everybody pound of gots flesh. Everybody got to get yeah, got to get paid. Yeah. So um, I talked to Brian yesterday. It, through Facebook. You know, you don't really talk to Brian unless you're right there. He doesn't really get on the phone and do that. That's just not... he. I'm, I've talked to Brian on the telephone one time. And I think it was just like, like it was just a, the, all the stars aligned or something. Um, so, yeah. So, he got the check. Good. And um, and so, everything is, is good on that end. Good. Why did it take so long, Chris? Well... <laughs> I know the answer. Because we wanted to make sure that everything was solid and good. That, yes. Uh, Scott in Australia got the guitar, that it arrived undamaged. It took a little while longer. Surprise to get a guitar surprise, all the surprise. way to Australia. Yeah. Um, it, it took, yeah, a couple weeks. Uh, there was a period where um, he had to transfer money because it was a large amount to his PayPal it account. Took, yeah, it took two different PayPal accounts, yeah, right? Yeah, and... Uh, so yeah, just all of this stuff just takes a little bit of time. There's a big time difference, and uh, and we got yeah. stuck in customs twice on Fridays. Well, yeah, right? the first well, kind of, yeah. I think we got stuck in customs uh, once on a Friday, and then it didn't make a plane or a transfer. Okay. The next time, something like that. So. And then they were all suspicious because well, how come you weren't on the plane? You were supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, but he got it, and everything's good. And then, and then we had to transfer the money to your account. And then, and that yep, and then we had days. to transfer the money to the to, bank, and it takes yeah, a couple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so lots and lots of uh, but transfers. It's all done now. Brian has the money. So now the um, there is still a little bit of money outstanding from all of your votes to Crimson Guitars page where you voted for Joe. You you did a, you voted for for us. You kicked in some money for Brian, right? Mm -hmm. And I don't know, Miguel and Dave may have too. I don't know. Um, I don't know what's going on with that money. I think Crimson's just sending it. I, we're gonna. I'll call Crimson. We'll follow up on that. And I'll find follow out. up because yeah. I don't know. They might have already done it, or maybe they're fixing to. Yeah, because that's almost two grand. Yeah, it was. It was. <coughs> a, it was. A, it was a significant amount. And yeah. yeah. Maybe they're waiting for the um, the exchange rate to change, and it'll be an even two grand. Maybe. That's what I'm hoping for. So yeah. Um, but anyway, so thank you to everybody who helped with... Oh, I got to put this in the thing there. Yeah, people are freaking out about your soft drinks. My soft drink? I'm ah, this is... Uh, Dave, a Dave bit. brought us... The, this, these are, these are kind of tricky. They're for driving... They're for roadies. They're for... Uh, how do you get... Yeah. You, you grip it loosely. I can't grip it loosely. Do you know how to work it? Okay. Ah, there we go. Grip it loosely. Grip it loose. Hold on loosely is a 38 special go. song that I love. Yeah, don't let go. All right, so as you can see here, this is for Dave brought us these all the way from Ohio. Dave, are you one of those guys who gets like, hey, why are you mean mouth in Ohio? Because I seem to do that a lot. Like Ohio seems to be a, a state that I pick on a lot for you some reason. You pick on Ohio? I think I do. You do. I think I do, it's yeah. All good. Okay, all right. Dave says it's... I don't know if you guys can hear Dave or not, but yeah. Probably because you really don't know anybody from Ohio. No, I know a lot of people from Ohio. And I, th I think I pick on Ohio because Stuart McDonald is there. And so when I say stuff about like, hey, if you can't get stuff, it's because of the people in Ohio. It, it's because Stu Mac is there, I think. My, I, you know, I, don't, I say a lot of dumb stuff too, so. Um, okay. Mrs. Toast, is there anything that we need to sort out while we're... Someone um, very... Um succinctly pointed out that it's still a soft drink. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll take. <laughs> I had a word and I lost it, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have an affliction. I'm still of the opinion that you can get drunk as shit on Coors Light. I, you, if you put in the effort. You just got to put yeah, in the work. you just got to work at it a little bit harder. Yeah. You can't not drink much. all day if you don't start early. That's right. Yeah, well, what's the matter with yeah, you? Yeah, you're yeah. just not trying hard enough. Yeah. So... Oh man! Hey, what's the uh, what's the guitar next to you there? Um, this is a Daily Driver that I finished. 
today. That just got put together today, right? Yeah. You should do the Bundy Bounce. <laughs> Dang. No, you don't know. Not me. I'm not doing the Bundy Bounce. That would be hilarious. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Uh, yeah, so it's a uh, uh, a daily driver, but it's got this cool pick guard on it. That pick guard came from Andy the Saint. That it did, yeah. Was, well, the, the pick guard material the pick came guard from Andy material. The Saint. This was my test pick guard um, for when I made his real pick guard out of the same material. He signed a chunk big enough to do both. What is that stuff? Uh, it's some sort of acrylic uh, tortoise shell uh, pattern stuff. It's super expensive, it's right? It's pretty expensive. Yeah, it's Italian. That's Ooh. why it's uh, so you as know expensive it's good. as it is. And, it uh, is for Gile. Yeah, it's it's all of that, and uh, yeah, and it's it's pretty unique stuff. It doesn't come polished like this. You have to you have to polish it on your own. It comes. You had to put in work sort of to get that to, to go. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to sand it, and you got to buff it, and you got to be careful not to overheat it. And and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat stuff. And it's it's kind of soft, but uh, it's really neat. I like it. The cool thing about that guitar is it's not unlike what we're going to be making all this week. That's right. So this is this is our, our straight up daily driver, and this is kind of everybody who comes to the build your own guitar, build a classic telly class anyway. Tomorrow <laughs> will make something that looks very very much like this. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, we don't have the any more of that Gucci fret or uh, Gucci pick guard material, but Gucci. we do have plastic, which is you know, so you got that going for it. You were saying, Miguel, you just wanted the bridge pickup on yours, right? That's cool. That's, I, I I like your style. Yeah. Um, okay, so well, Andy the Saint said that that pit guard is cellulose acetate and it's three millimeters. Oh, okay. So there, there you go. go. Cellulose acetate. They make they make spectacles of that. And it's don't a they? bitch to work with. Yeah, as it is. Chris will attest. Yeah. Well, it's just it's just yes. You got to put in some some labor. It's not just cutting plastic. So. so that's but wood yeah, from that's wood cool. from our friend Dan at Guitar Wood Experts, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be cool. Okay, and this will be on the website. At yeah, some that point. will be on the website if you guys want to buy that. That's that's actually available. We haven't yeah. done a reveal on it yet, but maybe maybe soon. So there you go. All right, what else we got? What else we got, Chris? What are we talking about today? What are we even doing? I don't have. Any uh, ideas we're gonna talk about our favorite unofficial oh, uh, yeah, GGBO yeah, video yeah, yeah, yeah. and our pick for your. First guitar build. Okay. What we think you should build. Okay, cool. All right. I like that. <laughs> let's uh let's move along then. All right, so what do you want to talk about? Let's talk about uh our favorite GGBO unofficial stuff. Is that okay. all done now? Uh I don't no. think it is. No, I think that's gonna go on until uh twenty twenty two. But the but the, the of, but the entries all are all in, right? I believe so. Everyone yeah. that's getting yeah. in has gotten in. And then I think Ben Crow is going to pick his favorite 108 uh, bills <laughs> out of and then out they're of going to whittle that down to uh, yeah, 240. Okay. Yeah, they're going to actually add more. Okay. <laughs> no, I think he's going <laughs> to pick pick his favorite 25. I think I got which is a Herculean task. I got to tell you, there's so I don't even know how many entries there are. I've tried to watch. A, as many videos as I can, Somebody but there's said only 200. so much time yeah. in the day for me to watch videos and, and emails and comments. And, yeah, yeah, and yeah. So, uh, but man, there's a lot of cool stuff. So much awesome stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm bracing myself for all the comments of, you know, this is better than yours, Matt. Okay, fine. I got it. I got it. I got it. So anyway, but what's the, uh, what's the, what, what, so what do you got? Well, so so there's a uh, a video series from a guy. I believe his name is Stuart, and his his uh, his YouTube is Mumbling Productions. Mm -hmm. And he has decided that he's going to create. Uh, he's going to make a a uh, a satire out of the entire contest, mm -hmm. and he's developed <laughs> his own his own persona named Bob Raven. Instead of Ben Crow, <laughs> and his but company, he spells Bob backwards. Yeah, and yeah. and his guitar company is Red Mist Guitar. It took guitar. me a minute. <laughs> yeah, Red Mist Guitar instead of Crimson. Okay, okay. And he yeah. has he 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 has made himself a bald wig with I tattoos. Think that's, I think that's just his head. <laughs> I don't know, but I and think he has it a is. and he has a big giant ZZ Top brown. Yeah. Um, yeah, Santa beard. Unless that's and also he does his real hair. The best Ben Crow that I've ever seen in my life. 
he, he is he has all of it down perfect yeah uh, he really does he's got it. like it's autographed really pictures of from from ben <laughs> he really has he's gone out of his way to to satire the most caricaturable is that a word mm -hmm. uh contestants and so far he's done who so he's done he's done uh ben crow yep he did uh dan from Guns and Guitars, he called him Don from Pistols and that Plectrums. That was funny. He yep. even went so far as to design a logo for Pistols oh. and Plectrums, which is a gun and a guitar pick all in the same one. Oh wow! Well, maybe and, Dan, uh, you know Dan when Dan was out here, he was saying that he wanted to have another logo, so maybe this he'll might use be the that one. one. Yeah, 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 we don't maybe. know. Uh, he did Brad, Brad Angrove as uh -huh. a Brett Man God. <laughs> I don't was get that. Hilarious. Well, because because I think because we always said that he was so. You know, so good looking, and if, oh, if this contest was a beauty pageant, he'd we'd win. already lost. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, he did him with uh, um, a uh, like, like a, a muscle super buff muscle yeah. shirt, like yeah. we have, the, like we the, all imagine Brad yeah. actually is. Yeah, I don't yes. think it was too far off. And then uh, and then he also did in the the last episode, and I was super excited that he did this. Danny, he, we're getting to you, by the way. He Sorry. did us as. Uh, uh, oh man, I, I messed it up already. Um, banjo bread. Yeah, yeah. Banjo you know, I couldn't bread. figure out which, I forgot which, it, yeah. which way it goes. Banjo bread guitars as Mark and Craig. And we were actually out. We we went to we cleaned up the shop a little bit yesterday, I, and I made a big mess in the shop again today, and I cleaned it up since then. But we cleaned up the shop yesterday, and then and then Chris and Mrs. Toast and I went and got a hamburger. And it, the, we saw the video, and we yeah. were just cracking up in, in the uh, the Park Burger in Highlands. Um, so, real real fast though, can we can we pause on that mm -hmm. one? Uh, Danny Milligan wants to know, uh, guys, how many guitars do you build in a month on average? I would say four or five. Yeah, that's how that's many. That's about we that's finish. about what we yeah. average. Yeah. So thank you, uh, by the way, Danny, for the super chat. We really do appreciate that, sir. Okay. Anyway, so let's get back to um, all right. So apparently uh, there is a, a place in Belfast, UK, probably near where Stuart lives, mm -hmm. called Bread and Banjo Bakery, which is, I think, why he called it uh, Banjo, Banjo, Banjo Bread. Banjo, okay, yeah. Yeah. And, How uh, did you find this out? I Googled you it. You had the I deep dive. Yeah, yeah. I, I, thought, I thought, I wonder why he chose Banjo Bread, and I thought, well, maybe because of the Wonder Bread thing from... Well, of course. And then, and then maybe it's their local bread. So yeah. I Googled it, and it, that's what popped up, and it's a bakery. Wow. That also makes bread, obviously. So you would have been an excellent detective. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, I know. Or a skip tracer. Yeah. yeah well, so or, or criminal. Or criminal. Yeah. So um, yeah, I when but I saw banjo bread, I'm like, well, maybe this guy doesn't have any idea what Texas toast actually is. No, I think which, he gets. And it he may bread. not, but yeah. But he as far Google as it. as far as my favorite video through this oh, whole man. thing, so funny. I was cracking All up. All four of them are hilarious. So if, in case you guys haven't seen it. It's, it's, he does, Chris and myself, he actually has, he has a, a, a picture of the wall and he mm -hmm. green screens himself into that. And there's just beer cans all over Coarse, the place. Of course, light At beer one can. point I pass out. Yes. It's awesome. He's got a four hole toaster. Yeah. And, and four pieces yep. of bread pop up. And a skull. Yeah. Yep. We're dancing. We're dancing. Yeah. 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 For, for, uh, <laughs> for Don from Pistols and Plectrums, he's outside <laughs> shooting an automatic <laughs> machine gun. And you can't understand anything he says. Mm -hmm. It's really funny. It's really clever. You know, if he would have contacted us, he wouldn't have had to do that. We would have just done it. <laughs> We'd just be like, hey, will you guys like just do a thing where you like do this thing and just get drunk and then Matt falls over? Yeah, we'd have totally done that. You could have got the sh He had a Western shirt he like did. that one time that you had the... <laughs> he made me a blonde, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I haven't looked that good in quite a while, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I think you had those taking care of business Elvis sunglasses, did, too. Yeah. yeah. I, I had guitar sunglasses. Mm -hmm. yeah, but yeah, he we I would have just made that video for he we could have saved him a lot of time. What's this guy's name? It's yeah. So it's if you guys haven't Bob seen the video, Bob Raven. Bob Raven. Yeah, but his channel yeah. is Mumbling Production. Mumbling Production. So go check. Okay, so first of all, the un if you guys want a deep dive while you're supposed to be working or something, deep dive into the unofficial Great Guitar Build Off thing because there is a buttload of videos and there it, some of it is super super awesome. Um, and the, the reason I say some of it is because I haven't seen everything yet. I assume everything's awesome. But the, how about this? The stuff that I have seen is really, really cool. Like, like I'm blown away at how 
just how cool it is. And, um, but if you want to see Chris and myself get made fun of, you can check out Mumbling Productions on YouTube. Um, bookmark it while you're watching this, and then as soon as we're done here in a little bit, go watch it. And watch all of them, because they're all they're really funny. funny. Yeah, they are and funny. And his intro is, is awesome. And yeah, it is. Yeah. The whole thing is, is really good. He does and, he a, made, and he made a cool guitar. He did make a cool guitar. That's right. That's right. So, yeah. I see comments here like people are going off the rails on the unofficial guitar, kind of taking a cue from you, maybe? Or... I don't... You know, I... They're... <sighs> Going off the rails. It's as like far people are as... getting really creative with it. Oh you know? yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, there, there's so the... some really awesome, yeah, you know, like yeah. really wild and cool ideas. Yeah, and the the you know the original plan was, if you wanna if you wanna participate, we'll we'll be glad to sell you a kit and you can compete in the unofficial. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was just you know if you want to compete, go ahead and compete. There's no real real rules. You don't have to start with the kit. You don't have to. You know, it's just whatever, and and yeah, it just blew up from there. I so. think I think so that Ben or whomever at Crimson decided to just open it up to anybody. You don't have to buy mm -hmm. a kit. Really, uh, uh, let everyone's artistic love light shine, if mm. you will. And, and and because because people were able to like just kind of well, hey, I maybe I, I can't buy a kit or or I I'm already in the middle of some stuff. Um, I know for a fact that Jesse Gibbons and Doug Cook and Devin Riddle all kind of had stuff going, and then they just sort of, well, maybe Doug Doug might not have, but I, but I know maybe that, plans, but yeah. maybe plans, but they and they 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 entered uh, in the contest and all awesome awesome guitars. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm I know I'm I'm failing to mention some people um, who are in the contest that are. I don't want to say Texas Toast alums, but Texas Toast alums. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I, I realized I said I don't want to say it, and then I said it, but yeah. Well, anyway, um, yeah. So the um, uh, what what if, what is what are the ones that you that you like the the most? You know, I haven't. Like? I'm kind of waiting until everybody's uh, are in and and things are a little bit more further along. Mm -hmm. um, so. I really like that lady at Breaking Wind guitar. She's fun. Yeah, I Broken like Wind. Broken Wind. Yeah, <laughs> I like sense. I like the ice cream sandwich one. That's mm -hmm. a fun one. I like the the kind of violin carve one. That looks it looks a lot like a Scatterly guitar that I saw okay. many many years ago. It might even be Scatterly. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, I really haven't looked at all that um, many. I like the plywood one that that youngster made. Mm -hmm. I like the one. Uh, there's a bunch of like uh, uh, multi lamination yeah, things that the, look great. The the carved Odin one. Oh is cool. yeah, the, the carved flying V the inlay, and the carved the inlay dragon Eagle one. one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. There's a dragon yeah. one. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. There's. I I'm just sort of. I, I can't watch all the videos, and I can't. I so wish I, there was I a picture want it to of get, everyone. Yeah, exactly. I kind of want it to get whittled down a little bit, and then I can go and and look at the ones that appeal to me. Mm -hmm. That's the other cool part about it is there's you know, <laughs> there's so many different styles and so many, and it's okay to like one and not another. Doesn't mean that when you don't well, like it, that's just because yeah, you and I are old jaded yeah. farts, <laughs> and and if we if just because we you know do or don't. Think, oh, I want that guitar for mine. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, that there's not a lot of cool stuff that we kind of miss because we're we're old jaded farts. Mm -hmm. well, that's a thing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. More and more. More. <laughs> we we were actually doing cheese it. Old man Fesker's around the corner. <laughs> hey, you <And> guys, <laughs> cheese it. <laughs> what were you doing? You were talking about Halloween candy or something today? Oh, with your monkey was here and you're like, yeah. buy your own damn candy, yeah. rotten kids. <laughs> yeah, something something yeah. not uh -huh. unlike that. It's going to be on sale tomorrow. <laughs> Just go and buy it then. Why are you going to come and bother me? I'm watching movies. That kind of thing? Yes, yeah, that's yeah. the old man Fesker that mm -hmm. we all yeah. know and love. Yeah. yeah. I am the creepy old man that lives at the end of the cul-de-sac <laughs> in my neighborhood, I think. So, yeah. And it's... <laughs> there's another creepy old man at the other end of the cul-de-sac, or at the other end of the street. Wow, there's so just you creeps get past, everywhere. If you get past his house and all the way around to mine, yeah. you're you're pretty bold. Is yeah. there anyone good in between with, like, a really awesome... that, like, gives full bars or anything? Or uh, I, maybe, I don't Reese's know. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups or the, something? The, the people that would do that are, are so, like... 
pandemic scared, they probably won't oh, even answer the Because it would suck to have, like, creepy guy, creepy guy, and then flanking someone who gives, like, pencils or toothbrushes or something. Yeah. Like, what a bust. Everything yeah. about this whole cul-de-sac yeah. is, like, totally tr- yeah. trick-worthy. My, my neighborhood is turned over a little bit, so all the kids are older. Yeah, us so, too. And, and mm-hmm. most of them are, you know, either high school or they've okay. gone off to college. Yeah. That's why and I was so nice to them when they were exactly little. Turned. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're going to be teenagers one day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you were saying that you're, it's a good thing that we don't have any any trees in our front yard because we'd have extra toilet paper. Probably. Yeah. Because you're going to give, what, pencils? Pencils. This year. I'm not going to yeah. give pencils. Yet. Pencils and raisins. I think we're Seven cents raisins. wrapped in cellophane. Uh, I think that Mrs. Toast and I have a uh, uh, we have a gala to attend on Halloween this year. Oh, that's right. That's right, with Rob Zombie. You do too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of people think that I'm actually bullshitting about the Rob Zombie thing, but I'm not. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, Mrs. Toast, is there anything that we need to do before we move along? Well, here? I just had this um, comment here that yeah. piqued my interest. John Fox. Hi, said, John. Good day from Australia. Right. He's a top bloke. He is a top bloke. I think I said that right. Anyways, says Scott and the ESM. Mm hmm. Electric sex machine. Yep. Came for a visit to the lake this weekend. We've shot an unboxing video. Oh, it's cool. It's so amazing in real time. The finished work is jaw dropping. How cool. cool. Thank awesome. you. John said that. John Fox. Thank you, John. Is that That's John's cool. backyard that the pictures were taken? I have no, I Let's don't know, find man. Out. I thought everything in Australia looked like Mad Max. I'm need That's to what know I thought basically. too. Or, oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Road Warrior. Well, or, or a. Uh, which happens in 2021, by video. the way. Or Quigley Down Under. Correct. Yeah. It's very deserty. Crocodile Dungeon. I'm pretty sure um, that that's all they got. It's all desert. And I'm pretty sure I'm also wrong, though. Yeah, yeah. 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 A lot of leather in Australia. A lot of, uh, lot of fringe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, Doug Santianello said, buy some pencil... Doug, I actually did buy some pencils at the store today. I, you know, I talked with Doug on Friday. Doug is so cool. Um, it's always great to hear from Doug. Um, how many Texas Toast guitars has Doug bought from? Like, like five or six. Yeah, here, I think. at least. Yeah. yeah. We've got two going for him right now, mm-hmm. and he is forcing me to use wood binding on one of them, which I'm not 100 percent sure I like the idea of. But because it's Doug, I'm gonna do it. So, yeah. Oh, Mrs. Toast is bringing us, bringing us beers. Not for me, though. I guess, oh, yes, for me. Not for you, Chris. So, anyway, so anyway, yeah, good to hear from you, Doug. I hope that you are doing, Doug says he's retiring. What? Yeah, and he's just going to be, a, he's going to be a man of leisure. With a suit? With a, with a leisure, no, I don't think he's going to have a leisure suit. He was, uh, he's, he's got going to build a shop, and he's going to come out here. And he's going to hang out with us and, and do guitar stuff. It's going to be a lot of fun. You have a shop before you come out here? Got to have a shop. Okay. No, you don't have to. But So speaking of got to have a shop, let's move forward with our next uh, our next big thing. How about that? Unless you got any sure. more you nope. want to say on that one. Nope. Okay. What else we got? Uh, so the title of this live stream is Happy Hour Live. We've already covered that. Our favorite GGBO unofficial video. We've already covered that. And our pick for your first guitar build. Your first guitar build, I think so, should be a exact replica of a 1959 Les Paul, perfect in every way. No, I do not think that. Not, not one bit. Um, so let's talk about it. But before, we, before we go deep dive too much into what we think it ought to be, what are some of the pitfalls that people can experience when making... Really, not not just their first one, but any any guitar, you know, when they're like just getting started. Uh, I think, at least in my experience, uh, rather than concentrating on the the um, the the actual woodworking and finishing and all that, they they overthink it and they go with with really expensive wood and really that, yeah. really difficult construction techniques. Mm-hmm. And then they go to really difficult finishes and really expensive parts and hardware. And instead of yeah. instead of concentrating on learning how to how to um, you know use the tools and all of that, they, they, they just overthink it and they, they get too far ahead of themselves. 
And they think, okay. well, you know, if I want it bad enough, I can just make anything that I want. Ah, yeah, that's right. There are some people, I believe, that think that I can't afford the guitar I really want. I'm going to make the guitar I really want. Yeah. And the, the, the downside to that is those people have, they have an idea in their head of what they want. They have taste, but they may not have the ability to make it happen. Uh -huh. So they make something, and because they have taste, they go, well, this isn't really that good. And then they go, so this is all an Ira Glass thing that I'm basically misquoting the whole time here. Um, everybody that sends me a thing, hey, I'm making my first guitar. I'm like, make your first guitar, do it, make a bunch of mistakes, and watch this video by Ira Glass every single day. And it's the whole notion of you have to get a, a body of work together. You kind of have to make some moves, make some mistakes, learn from some of that stuff, and, and eventually you're going to get to the point where you're making the stuff that you want to make. But it's very, very rare for the, your first time out of the gate to make something perfect in every way. Yeah, don't spend a lot of money on good you know, wood. Yeah, what's wrong with working on some fundamentals? Do some Correct. dribbling, do some layups, you know, and then, then you can slam dunk later on. I don't know if that works. or not. I don't really know basketball very much. It seems, seems or soccer, right to me. But yeah. Mrs. Toast, you were laughing at something. Did something come up that you wanted to do? Uh... Oh, no. It's just a, 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 an unusual question. Oh, okay. From BTLX guitars or Battle Axe guitars. Ah, okay. I think I could go either way. I think, I think that works. It says, hey, guys, have you had any mail from Ireland recently? Uh, I have not gotten. Oh, My interest is peaked. Uh, the mailbox is weird here because we got a delivery from Lawler Pickups that kind of came in and I had to like drive to the, I had to drive to Commerce City, which is like 20 minutes away. And they said, oh no, it's at the distribution center. That's like five minutes from your shop. So mail is a little tricky here, but no, I have not gotten any mail from, from Ireland. And especially from Ireland, you know, it took three weeks to get yeah. We're at his little college care package. That's right. So, no, we have not, but we will be looking forward to that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, we have a super chat again from Danny Milligan. I think everyone should do a fabric finished guitar with the craziest fabric they can find. I bought some Minions fabric. Okay, let, let's talk about, about fabric top. Or I thought we were going to talk about how you're my minions. I, uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Fabric top finishes are so easy and so cool. Everybody should do one. Don't but you not think? as your first project. P probably not. No. No. All right. So, so, so anyway, so once you, once you decide, once you have taste enough to, to say, and by the way, uh, Danny, thank you for that super chat. Thank you again. Um, and thank you to Doug too. Um, it, once you once you decide that you want to you know where you want to go um you, you getting to that 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 the level have have you ever how long did it take before you were like yep i can make anything i want here it is yeah no <laughs> no i mean like like um, at what point were you like uh, do, do you at any point go i've been building guitars for 10 years and i can I can go into the shop on Monday and I can make any single thing I want every single time, no mistakes. No, nope, I have to pay Media. attention every yeah. step of the way. Yeah. And I have to, if, if anything is slightly, I, I like to think two and three steps ahead at yeah. least. Um, because a lot of times, depending on what you're building, those steps can change in the order that you do them in. Mm -hmm. And... Um, yeah, and I, I still get I still get a little bit like flummoxed or Flaquant? scared if if a project is just slightly different than the norm. I have to really think it over and and make sure that I'm doing it the way that I want to do it. What, what, uh, so we got a super chat from uh, Michael Rick Rick W. I, I know I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. And it's a little emoji of a guy with coffee. So thank you, Michael. Um, I don't know what that little funny guy is supposed to be. Maybe I'm supposed to drink coffee instead. Yeah, of you. maybe. But um, so Chris is rambling. <laughs> uh. We we've got um, our friend Andrew St. Pierre is coming out in December, and we are building a really really tricky guitar. 
and I'm I know I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I know so Andy I. the Saints looking uh-huh. forward, to it. and I I was yeah I, yeah, I, I would yeah. bet I'd make a million dollar bet you're looking forward to it too. Yeah, yeah, but we're gonna have to you know it's not just like. Okay, let's just start hacking wood and doing stuff. It's it's, it's like... basically a Rick Turner inspired build. For those of you who don't know Rick Turner, that is the guitar that Lindsey Buckingham has played for the last several decades. Um, it looks like an acoustic, and it's got that sound hole with that kind of rotating pickup. Model one. Model one. That's right. Thank you, thank you, Dave. Um, so, I, making a Leo Fender style guitar. Okay. Making a Gibson style guitar, cool. BC Rich, cool. You know, uh, Grover Jackson, cool. Quite frankly, Rick Turner terrifies me. That guy is like he's on another level than I am. Um, what What do you What do you? Think I'm not about? scared because I haven't looked into it at all. <laughs> yeah, it's got like 25 inch radius on the top and back, and this crazy laminations and. And yeah, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. And like I said, uh, Rick Turner is absolutely, positively terrifying to me. So. Andy the Saint says he's nervous. Yeah. Well, that's three of us. Uh, that's two of us. Chris doesn't know how nervous he ought to be. But and he I, said you better be. I'm gonna look into it before I. Part of my problem is I actually dream about this stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I dreamt about uh, packing. A guitar recently, okay. For like a, a full night. That's all. That makes I me feel really sad for you. Was was that I dreamt? Well, yeah, I know that that I was packing this guitar and that it somehow didn't fit or I don't know what it was. But anyway, yeah, just so I don't want to I don't want to think about it too much until it's a- time Andy to think Andy about Mandiac it. says that that he fabricates his own pickups and bridge hardware and yeah, like I say, uh, if the, the, <laughs> we won't be doing that. We're, we're going to do as much of the stuff as we can. Andy's yeah. going to finish it, but not Andy Mandiak, but right. Andrew Andrew St. Pierre is yeah. going to finish it. it. Rick Turner absolutely terrifies me as a guitar builder. He's on a completely different yeah. astral plane than than I am. We're going to learn how to sandcast our own uh, yes. stuff here pretty quick. Yes. Oh God, could you imagine the mess that's going to make? No, I can't imagine that. Yeah, yeah. So okay, so. If you were going to recommend to someone, hey, I want to start making guitars, what should I make? Mm-hmm. It's a no-brainer, right? Yes. What do you think it is? Uh, Telecaster. Absolutely. Yeah. Why, um, why is that? Well, because it teaches you the fundamentals of the guitar from A to B without being so difficult um, that you lose interest or you rush through it, or that that you can't complete it and have something really neat, but also feel confident enough that you can make something else a little more complicated the next time. And the Telecaster is always cool. Yeah, it's like the it's like it's like a cheeseburger and fries, mm-hmm. or nachos, or a, a you know pepperoni pizza. It's like it's always going to be cool. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so you need one anyway. Why not have that be the one that you're gonna make? Because you need to have one anyway. Yeah. And yeah, it's it's um, you know, there are some people that say, well, it's a cutting board with a baseball bat screwed to it. It's a little more involved than that. Yeah. But yeah. um, yeah, it's uh, uh, the Telecaster is a, is a neat neat guitar, and the the other cool thing is it's very customizable. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to just make like just a plain one. Right. You know, you could make one that's got... Yeah, so, for example, like um, uh, Michael said, you, sh- you could make a fabric top one. A telly would be a great fabric top one. Um, but yeah. if you wanted to do something like this, this is our um, this is just a die with our durable thin finish, and that's what we're going to be doing in the, uh, the Build a Classic Telly class. And it, just, it, looks, it, looks, it looks right. Mm-hmm. And it beads water... So, you know, if you're playing in, like, the skeeviest, shitholiest bars in town, it will absolutely, like, when when someone spills Jägermeister all over it, and they will, it, it, it your, your guitar's not going to get all dicked up. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. So, yeah. What about Fireball? But, yeah, Fireball. Fireball is the, is the uh, Fireball, this year's, uh... Frangelico, 
Kalua and Clamato. It won't. It won't dork up your guitar. Yeah, that's a. That's a. That's a. a one of my favorite drinks. Your martini. Kalua and Clamato. Yeah, it's I like not, Kalua but... and hand lotion better. <laughs> That's my favorite. Drink. That's your go-to over, over ice. I, we should we should probably not say that because someone's going to send that ice. to us. Yeah. yeah, artisan ice with Kahlua and hand and lotion. hand lotion. Barf yeah. out. I think I just poisoned myself. I think you did too. Yeah. One time, somebody got us. Uh, my band was playing at the skeeviest shitholiest bar in Arvada, and which is now actually pretty nice. It's now pretty nice. Yeah, <laughs> is it? Well, they've gone through some gentrification, and somebody gave us shot. I, I we were joking around about. Getting shots of Mrs. Butterworth's, you know that Frangelico that looks sort of like Mrs. Butterworth's, and somebody actually sent us up a round of Frangelico, Frangelico. and we're like, "What the hell is it?" Yeah, and it was whatever that. What looked. is Frangelico? And it's like it's, a, a, it's like an almond. An liqueur. almond. That's right. Yeah, oh, that's okay. right. Yeah. Or hazelnut or something. It's yeah, like, I don't think it's, it's nut. generally it's uh, had as a not, shot. Not necessarily. Yeah. Straight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah don't I don't think it's, you don't want to yeah. shoot it. It's not. Nah, it's not yeah. smooth like. I'm sure somebody mixer, but yeah. Cool. It's supposed to go in a something. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. So what else do we like about the telly that uh, makes it uh, uh, the perfect? Well, I like first that, time guitar. I like that the, the it teaches you a lot about neck angle, neck height. Um, uh, you don't have to worry too much about uh, you know the 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 um, the wiring harness is all pretty much there. There's no top route and back route. Um, it really just it, it it you can kind of focus on making a really great guitar, and you don't have to worry about stuff like an arch top, binding, um, you know, a, a conical radius fretboard, mm -hmm. uh, angled headstock, but you can deep dive into you know, you know how what why is the strings going off the nut uh, straight important why is the nut height important why is the uh, uh the neck height in the in the the pocket important and yeah and then you can have something really cool probably be a exact <laughs> replica of a 1959 no <laughs> whatever you want but it it teaches you the, the kind of the fundamentals you can learn how to route and then the next yeah. time maybe you want to trim so you have to route some stuff in sure. the back yeah maybe you want to do some carving maybe you want to do some yeah, more wood type, body type stuff. I think the the real takeaway for me is that um, a telly is is always going to be cool. No, like we're gonna we're gonna we we've, we've got our technique down for making telecasters. For getting people to make telecasters. And you guys are gonna have you're gonna have your techniques down on Friday. You're gonna be like, this is a snap. Um, uh, and at the end of the class. You're going to be guitar makers, and that's what's really cool. Dave, have you made guitars before? No. But Miguel, you've done quite a bit of assembly and yeah, just parts, parts, and, and bolting things together. That's you, I, I can't wait for you guys to shape necks. I think that's my favorite part um, because that's what really separates the eighth grade shop project from the guitar maker. And and we're going to use hand tools. I'm not gonna. You I. Actually, I'm make alongside. It's going to be so much fun. Um, that's the fun Wednesday. Wednesday is a long day, and Chris loves. Right? You yes. hate it, don't you? Yeah, it's not my favorite day. It's so it's because it's like, oh boy, here we go. It's all because you give you give everybody yeah. the task, and then they get to spend a fair amount of time. Most of the other steps are are fairly quick. You know, 10, 15 minute kind of things, and you move on to the next one. That's the one where it's like, okay. Well, and the funny thing is, like, like this. day one, it starts to look like the body's done. That's the thing about this whole thing, yeah. And then by four the end days of the first later, day, yeah. <laughs> you'll have something that looks like it, like you could hang it on the wall and go, that's a guitar. Yeah. And yeah, and then everything starts to slow down, and every step gets smaller and smaller and smaller until it's a guitar. So, yeah. Yep. So day one is usually everybody thinks. Well, most people think that that Wednesday is their favorite day. By the end, I think if you end, if, oh really? If you okay. Ask that at the end of Wednesday, they won't say that. No. But by Friday, they usually say, "Well, Wednesday was my favorite part." Yeah. Because I didn't think I was going to be able to do it, and I did. Yeah, neck neck shaping is is so. far and away my my favorite thing because that's when that was really separates the men from the boys. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yep. And uh, so yeah, 
there you go. There you have it. We raced through everything we wanted to talk about. Blah, 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 blah. We still have 15 and minutes to go. 45 minutes, yeah. We have 45 minutes to go? No, we... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know me, Chris. It, do it doesn't take much for me to talk for 15 more minutes. I mean... Yeah, I know. What else is going on? Um, What else is going on? I started building... A, I, I, oh, let me try to... Oh, what's the, the best way for me to say this? You started a new... Uh, no, no. I, I don't want to say I started a new... I am involved with a new... I'm involved with a new prostitute today. <laughs> That's right. What do you guys think of the prostitute guitar? Doug Santino... Doug, did you get that guitar, by the way, yet? Um, I started work on another one, and um, we're trying to think of what color we should paint it. The, you know, um, the uh, the... The build a classic set neck guitar, I think, is another cool. Cla That's probably the next guitar you should make. The first guitar you build should be a Tele or a Strat, especially if it's a hardtail Strat, right? Yeah. Okay. Really, a Tele and a Strat. Yeah. There's some extra body steps, but the guitars are pretty much the same. Yeah. The next thing that you should do is a set neck guitar, mm -hmm. whether or not it's a it's a Telecaster with a set neck. Or you know a, a a flat top Les Paul with a set neck, or or maple top, or something like that. Kind of spread your wings a little bit. I yeah. have a I have a book floating around that's like um uh like an electric guitar. I think it's it's over there. In fact, I think I see it. Um, and it's a you build up a, a a bolt on neck guitar. You build a a set neck guitar, and you build a neck through guitar. Yeah, it's one of those. Is there anything that looks over there like uh like? Build your own yeah, that's it. Build your own electric thing. They bring that. Out to me. Bring it over here. Let's let's show everybody. If you guys are wondering uh, what a good book to to get help you get started, this you should steal this one from the library. You steal this one from the library. Um, it's from Melvin Hiscock. Yeah, with a foreword by Brian May. So you got that going for you. This is a great book. It's got all sorts of stuff. We're gonna um, look at this book a lot this week. Tom L. says Mountain Brew Fund. Thank you so much, Tom. I, uh, Tom is is absolutely an alumni of the Texas Toast yep. um, online classes. And I, have we ever met Tom in real life? No, I would like to, not. but we I've have not. I've seen pictures of Tom. Have you? Mm -hmm. Have you seen, has he, has he sent any videos of himself doing like Tom no, things? No, okay. I've seen pictures on Facebook of him and his family. I'm assuming that's him and his family. Okay, I'm so, imagining but so. But it could yeah. also not be. So this book it's by um, book. by Melvin is definitely uh, worth. Look look at how like weird we are on the screen. It looks looks funny. So anyway, yeah, the Make Your Own Electric Guitar Second Edition by Melvin Hiscock, with forward by Brian May, is a wonderful reference, and uh, you guys should have a copy of that. The other good one to have is Don Teeter's book, which you should absolutely go to the library and steal, like I did. So. Yeah. No, I didn't do. Yeah. Danny Milligan said that uh, Brian May built his built his telly, so he's. Well, yeah. The, so yeah, Brian May and his father actually did build the Red Special, and, and it they took them they a made long time. lots and lo did they use Burns pickups for that? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, they did. Burns Trisonics. Mm. Which do you know what Trisonic means? Uh, three Sonic. Correct. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. So, Mrs. Tosa, are there any questions that we can uh, we can talk about? We kind of came to the end of what we wanted to talk about. We can, well, let's. So, for the next few minutes, let's take a bunch of questions from everybody because it's so much fun. Try and st it's going to be stump. The last guitar builder. Don't don't play that game. That's stump a, Chris. That's an easy game. No one can do it. I don't think there's anybody who has a question for Chris that's guitar building related that you don't know the answer to. <laughs> I think I think that's what the Thursday class is, or Thursday. It is, but we thing is Yeah, is, well we're is, kind of uh, we're, we're kind of coming to the end of the yeah, uh, the they try thing and, here. They try and stump us with with questions. Have you ever been stumped by that? I got the way that yeah. people ask questions has kind of stumped us a few times. Mm -hmm. But um oh Yeah, if I don't have enough information I can get stumped. Uh yeah, I'm not. I'm not the be all. I know I. I look like I'm the be all end all. You know. I can't believe that I spoke. I forgot to not. to mention our sponsor for the Sunday live stream, and that is Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. If you're in the Denver area, check out Flipside Music, the great American guitar store. Tell them that the guys at Texas Toast sent you. 
give Ike and Dylan and Nico a bunch of shit because they don't do anything all day long but sit around and fuck around on guitars. That's all they do is like dork around and play guitar all day. I don't think that's true. It's absolutely true. I don't think that's true. And if you are not in the Denver area and it's 4 o'clock in the morning, you can go on to flipsidemusic.com and you can check out the website. You can buy any single thing that you want from the website there, including some Texas Toast guitars. There are two, 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 two Texas Toast guitars there right now. One is the Green Frenchie. And one is the Mudflap Girl Daily Driver. The Green Frenchie? The Green Frenchie, that's right. Okay, then. That's right. Okay, so... Yes, uh, ma'am. I don't know if I'm saying this right. Okay. But I'm going to do it anyway. Go for Battle it. Battle axe guitars, because that's a cool word. Battle that's axe. way better than... Yeah. I don't know what it is. Did, uh, did Brian May's father work for Burns at the time? Yes. No. No, I don't think no, so. His father was a carpenter, I think. So he pretty much was... I think the reason they mother got those smelled pickups, of elderberries. Yes, was because that's what they could get. That's what they could get in when they England. were, yeah, yeah. So Joe Blow wants to know how many necks should my first telly be? Uh, your first one should be three, <laughs> and then the rest is de- it's it's going to be so much then easier. It's so much after easier that. after that. Yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah, Joe, I, you know, the answer should be one or two, but three is better than two. So Sloople says. When can we build a fabric top? Uh, okay, so are you asking when can because you, said don't you make your and first... I build a fabric top? No, oh. I think it's because you had said earlier that your first guitar shouldn't be a fabric top. Mm. Chris, what's the hardest, hardest, hardest part of building a guitar? Finish. Yeah. That you're, but do you agree with that, mm-hmm. with Mrs. Toast? Yeah. Well, yeah. If, I think it depends on the kind of finish you want, but yeah, ultimately... If you want something really, really, really nice. And it's the last thing, so it could be the most disappointing it, step. Yeah, yeah. So I would say, I would say uh, fabric top should be, should be, could be done pretty closely. Because the way that I have showed, no, 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 no. The way that I have in my blog and in the video thing that we've done, it's perfect every time. And people go, well, hey, can I use this instead of, I don't know, because I don't do that. If you, if you follow the steps that I have in, that, um, uh, in that, that video series and that blog post, I guarantee you, you will get nice results. So that's, that's a good way to go. Fabric tops are, are so easy. It's like eggs. It's easy to do good, and it's easy to screw it up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think a food yeah. metaphor really works for that because some of the most simple things are some of the hardest to get to get right. Correct. Yeah, yeah. So here's a question on that matter too. Okay. From uh, Adam Crofts. Okay. How much SimTech would you mix for a first round of sealer on a fabric top telly? Again, like how long is a string? Uh, no, I would say probably I like six to eight ounces. When you. Say it depends it on the wood, how much it's going to suck it uh, up. No, and... oh, hold on, vamp for a little, for a minute. We're just well, talking why wouldn't if we're, it? We're just talking about sealing up the, first the, the actual fabric. I'd mix, yeah, probably five ounces. Oh, he says only five. I'm surprised because I slept that shit gonna, on. Well, because you're going to pour it on and then that's going to be that. So <clears throat> it's only, you're only going to be able to get so much on there. So this is for a fabric top daily driver. And um, I, I actually... I, I just started with just a block of wood and I glued my fabric down using type bond and a weenie roller. And then I just, I literally poured the SimTech on and smeared it around with a brush. With a foam, with a foam, Fo- foam, foam brush. With a foam brush. Yep. And then, and then we sanded it to 220 and I, I think I used half a cup. That's five ounces. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, and I did it in two rounds, um, half a cup in two rounds. I was spraying a bunch of other stuff, and then at the end, I just poured the rest on, and then I mixed up a small amount and poured it on after that, and then and then boom, done. Yeah. All right, so, so Danny Milligan, I have a huge issue with my jobs. I use epoxy to clear coat my guitars, but I can't get it smooth on the sides. Epoxy for clear. Danny, do you live in a spot where it's hard to get automotive urethane or 
Or do you live in another country where a Simtex dealer won't ship to you? A Simtex will ship. I actually got a thing from a guy in Australia. Simtex shipped to him. I know for a fact <laughs> Simtex will ship to you. Now, it wasn't cheap. That's well, and, yeah. and that's the rub on all of this is is people find out how much Simtech is because it's not the cheapest product mm -hmm. in the world, but it does go really, really, really far. Yeah, um, and but it's they so find out, easy to work and, with. Yeah, and and if you're but if you're if you're of the mindset that you're, that you're going to do it one time, then it's going to be really expensive. But if you're in the mindset that this is the first of many things that I'm going to use this product for, then it it gets significantly more cheap. So, um, so Danny says he's in New Mexico. I know for a fact that the guys at SimTech Coding will ship to New Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. And Adam Croft says that was me. Oh, in, he got, in Australia. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. So, so they they try and find products that maybe they can dip their toe in into the the fabric top world or whatever. When really, if if you're interested in doing a fabric top, you can follow the way that we do it, and and you're you're going to end up with a great result. It just happens. Everybody that's done one. What if has, your mail ordering good. finishes? Who should you go with? I say the first thing that you need to do is call the guys at Simtech Coating. Uh -huh. Tell them you want the stuff that Texas Toast uses, yeah. and then who do you go to for color and top coat? Well, so we've been using Tamco, yeah. uh, and they have all sorts of colors. They have all sorts of metallics, solids, mm -hmm. clears. Um, they sell, yeah, all sorts of, pretty so, much everything. So yeah, look up Simtech Coatings, uh, do a Google search Simtech Coatings, and uh -huh. then Tamco. I think it's tamcopaint.com. Okay. All right. Yeah, and their stuff's really great too. And Simtech sells clears too, if you, if you want to go down the, the polyester clear. Mm-hmm. That's uh, right, they do. You know, way you can do that too. Um. E.R. Webster, yeah. who makes awesome guitars, uh -huh. wants to know... I got one. How long is a quart of hardener good after opening? Why are you buying hardener in quarts? I, I, I think he means how much is the, uh, how long is the... Once the, you open it, can, how long is it? Oh. Um, oh, oh, okay. Not the MEKP. No, okay, not yeah. that. It'll last a long time because you're not, it, you got to put the MEKP to, in it to catalyze it. So it'll last five, six months. Especially in a in a cool dark place, they actually talk about okay. keeping it in a cool dark place. It'll last a long, long time. You like don't have mushrooms. To sweat it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I have any idea what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. I saw. I saw. Uh, er Webster's guitar, and he's uh, yeah, he's spraying uh, mm -hmm. big boy finish and everything. Yep. So. Yep. Very cool. Very very cool. Let's take a few more questions okay. here. If we got any. Uh, yeah, there's quite a few. Uh, uh, are, are you paying it? To, I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting into the. Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Let me go back up. Okay. Mrs. Toast is looking for questions for, we got a few more minutes. We're taking okay, a few more questions. Okay. Here we questions. go. Okay. Uh, tones in search of music. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, any advice for recessing Floyd Rose setup? Man, we just or did that. Recess. We just did that today. Um, yeah, the the would you? I'll grab it. Oh, okay, so uh, Jesse was in today and he was doing uh, Floyd, and uh, we we walked through a couple things on Floyd's. Um, this is uh, Jesse Givens from Givens Guitars. One of the things about recessing a Floyd is this area back here can almost not be too deep. Would you agree, Chris? Uh, yeah, pretty much. The reason I said would you agree is because actually Chris actually said that to Jesse today while he was doing it. However, this section here where the studs go can be too deep. You don't want to have this back part be as deep as this part here. But the way that like, so if you've got that Stu Mac template set, you'll know that this template here can be one depth and then you move to this template here and it can be another depth but you got to get all of this and all of this chunk to be this and this have to be the same depth and this needs to be taller so you kind of have to figure out a way to make this be deeper than this because if if this sec if the, this little section here is deeper but this section here is not then that does what uh, the the trim won't pull back. I thought you were gonna say that does jack shit. But oh well, yeah. yeah it basically, basically does. Yeah. 
does nothing. So. Yeah, yeah. So you got to figure out what you want the trim to do, how recessed the the saddles are going to be, and then grab, go grab from stews. there. Stews. That's a cool one. So this one here is another one that you can see has, actually they've gone at an angle. So this, um, the section where the studs go is at a depth and then everything else gets angled out. This is, this is probably one of my favorite ways to do it. Yeah. This is from the eighties. This, this is uh we've got a neck going for this one. This is a beautiful guitar. Is that a ESP? It's an ESP solid Custom maple. Custom shop ESP. What's the coolest thing about this guitar though? Uh, the, the orange. Chris painted it. That's right. <laughs> you can't really see the angle because it's, Kind of oh. like a black void. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's angled. You can believe me, though, that it's angled, and that's a cool way to go. You need to have a yeah. sign plate to do Actually, that. Actually, there was a little glimpse of, like, a... Okay. Uh, so, the yeah, light. so, the, so the, the, the trick for recessing a Floyd is to make it deeper here than it is here, but deeper all the way to right this just this little patch right here yeah does that make am i saying that right yeah okay all right yeah so you got to know your string height at at your at the um uh, at the saddles mm -hmm. and then you got to make it deeper past given that. guitar says yep, that's get your you grubby mitts it. off my build hey buddy chris chris was rubbing his junk on it earlier what do you mean earlier well he saw a ghost <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. I'm kidding. It's guitars. That guy. Isn't he supposed to be watching football right now or something? I don't know. What Why that? isn't Jesse here? That's what I was wondering when I got like, here. Like, everybody else is here. Jesse's not here. He's going to come in and do a little bit of paint work tomorrow. You guys might meet Jesse tomorrow. The one, the man, the myth, the legend. All right. Well, so, guys, I think that should probably wrap it up for an hour's worth of Sunday fun day. Hanging out at Texas Toast. <laughs> We have a big, big day tomorrow. So do you two guys. I don't know what you're doing tomorrow, but I'm going to be really busy. And um, yeah, so thanks for watching, y'all. It's been so much fun to hang out with you. I'm looking forward to next week, too. Don't forget that on Thursday, we have our uh, guitar building and repair Q&A where we take your questions and answer them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I've got a video coming out this uh, this week that should be fun. It's... Uh, what truss rod is in the cheapest neck you can possibly get from Amazon? If you are a fan of destruction, if you like you're hacking gonna stuff like up, this you're going to like this like one. Destruction. Yeah. Sometimes it's it's fun watching somebody break stuff. Break stuff. And that's what I do. Yep. So, okay, guys. Thanks for watching. This is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. And life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. You can come to one of our classes and build your own daily driver. Um, that's what Miguel and Dave are going to do tomorrow. We'll see you guys in a few days. This is Matt at Texas Toast. Yada, yada. Didn't I already say that? Yeah, you did. Yeah.